In this video I'd like to show an old method for encrypting secret texts, the Viginaire encryption from the 16th century, which was considered safe until the late 19th century. For encryption, the tabula recta is used. The tabula recta is a square table with alphabets shifted line by line. You could also use the Alberti cipher disk from the 15th century, which consists of two rotating disks, each labeled with an alphabet one for the plain text and one for the cipher text. I'll show the encryption with the tabula recta instead, because that's quicker. As an example, I'd like to encode a short text, crossing of the Delaware this afternoon GW. I'm writing this text on a piece of paper. Crossing of the Delaware this afternoon GW. Then we need a secret keyword to encrypt the text. The recipient of the secret message must also know this keyword in order to be able to decrypt the secret text later. A typical keyword would be, for example, in God we trust. I'm writing this letter by letter above the plain text, in God we trust. Because the plain text is longer, I repeat the key sequence until there's a key letter above each plain text letter. So again, two times. In God we trust. In God we trust. Let's start with the first letter. The key letter I determines that we use line I. To encrypt the C, we go down to line I. In column C, we find the ciphertext letter K there. We write the K under the C. The second letter is encrypted with the N. The R becomes an E. For the third letter, our key letter is G. The O becomes an U. For the fourth letter, we go to line O. The S becomes G. Then line D. S becomes V now. Line W. I becomes E. We repeat this until we have encrypted the whole text. When we're finished, we copy the ciphertext and send it to the recipient. Now let's take a look at the receiver side. For decryption, the recipient must know the secret key. He writes it letter by letter above the ciphertext, in God we trust. And again two times, in God we trust, in God we trust, so that there's a key letter above each cipher letter. We start in line I. There we look for the secret letter K. When we have found it, we go up the column and read the plain text letter C at the top. We write it under the cipher text. We continue in row N. The E stands for R. Then we have G as the key. The U originally was an O. Now in line O, the G is an S. And so on, until all letters have been decrypted.
When everything is finished and correct, we read, Crossing of the Delaware this afternoon, G. W. 